How is man justified in God's sight? We're in the fourth article of the Augsburg Confession, Justification. Now it is a real temptation here, the most natural one of all, to view Jesus as some sort of new Moses, a second lawgiver who's come and has some new moral obligations. Maybe they go on top of the old ones that you have to follow in order to prove to God that you should be justified in his sight. But that is not who Jesus is and what he has done for you. Jesus is not a second Moses. He has come not to condemn the world, but to save the world, to fulfill the law, not to add new laws to you. Think about it this way. Christ is the only one who saves. And so the confessions say that a man stands justified in God's sight by faith alone. The grace of God has shown us Christ. It has acted for you and me outside of us, there on the cross. And you benefit from that when you trust that that was done for you. God even says that he counts that faith as righteousness. You are righteous in God's sight on account of his son because you believe that by his grace and mercy, he did that for you. And it covers all your sins. This is justification, the fourth article. And it has nothing to do with God's law. No morals, commandments, intentions, opinions, or decisions. It is grace, free, Christ's, for you.